We are here at the finish line in Nome, waiting on Alan to arrive with his remarkable young team. And in the distance, there they come. There's a, it's about midnight, a few minutes after, and uh, we got a crowd here. The people in Nome are really, really great about supporting the mushers and uh, finishing. Puppies! Well, I think they found something interesting. Bridge is probably running down there to get him. There she goes. This is uh, so emotional. You got yourself a, a pretty frosty puck. Uh, I imagine it's uh, pretty cold. Uh, pretty cold out there at Top Cock and Beyond. <laughs> it. Uh, I don't know who's hugging me. My mother, I think. <laughs> Actually, it hadn't been it hadn't been too cold until I come over the hill there, and it seemed like it got a lot cooler. But it's perfect. It is beautiful weather, isn't it? Pretty calm here, but uh, below zero. The dogs really perk up in that weather, don't they? They did, especially when I saw the lights. They perked up a lot. So. <laughs> Alan's dogs look absolutely fantastic, don't they, Mickey? They look, fit. they look terrific. They look, you, you can't even believe most of these are two-year-olds. You cannot even believe it. Look at this, Jingle. Jingo, you look fantastic, and Butter, you made it. Butter has uh, Bonita, she looks made this so trip many times and never quite made it. He's such a hard-driving dog that he uh, usually. Wears out in the front end, but he made it this time. He made it! And here they come. All I did a rod finishers. Heading to the dog pound. What do you think, Bridget? How do they look? They look awesome. Freaking awesome. They're still ready to go. They can go farther. Yep, saying, they can. where are we going now? We're ready. Good job. And off to the dog pound. We will see them in just a couple of minutes and make sure they get plenty of snacks and plenty of hugs and pets. They look fantastic.